guys always, you know, it seems like we have a lot of Michigan cases. Whelan. Let's let's have everybody stand down. Let's see. I'll we'll just uh, get a little closer to each other too, so everybody's. All right, great. Good morning, everybody. Thanks for coming. Sorry we started a couple of minutes late. Um, my name is Jonathan Franks. I'm here to start things off. I represent the family. Governor Richardson will take questions and give you a good overview. So the fate of Taylor Dudley, who had been detained by the Russians since April of 2022 stood as a matter of grave concern for all of us here who blueprinted, constructed, and realized a concerted effort for his release. As chairman of the Steve Menzies Global Foundation, dedicated to bold action that results in wins for our country and individuals like Taylor and other hostages and prisoners we have been able to rescue over the years, this is a proud moment for all of us. My foundation and I provided much of the necessary financial, operational, and logistical support, including the medical staff, medical supplies, pilots, security, air and ground transportation, and lodging involved in the negotiations leading up to Taylor Dudley's release and then his transfer home yesterday. Governor Richardson and I have now worked together successfully on three missions since 2020. The plight of Taylor Dudley was an intolerable nightmare for him for his family, and for every American. Uh, we trust that all of our fellow citizens share in our great satisfaction of his release. The team effort, led by the tireless Governor Bill Richardson, included the Richardson Center, all the lawyers, doctors, and participants on both sides of the border, and I am pleased to say my foundation, all of whom pulled together to get this accomplished as cleanly and neatly as possible. With us. Again, I want to thank Steve Menzies. It's important to acknowledge that despite the current environment between our two countries, which is not good, the Russian authorities did the right thing by releasing Taylor <laughs> yesterday. It'll never get old watching families sort of come back together. Our work is not yet done. We are continuing to work on the release of Paul Whelan and other Americans held in Russia whose cases are less known. Just because you have a high profile and you're famous and there's a lot of public discussion of your case doesn't mean that lower profile cases like Taylor's should not be pursued. We should never let our hostages stay and not be protected and brought home like Taylor, who's a Navy veteran. Should it do after governments? You're recording this. On these issues, humanitarian issues, uh, Russia is willing to engage. Uh, prisoner exchanges, that's been two out of the three. Uh, this one it was not a prisoner exchange. Uh, the Russians asked for nothing in return. Nothing was given in return except, I think, a process of uh, humanitarian discussion. So I'm hopeful that this release and the ones we've taken um, are positives when it comes to Paul Whelan. Guys, always, you know, it seems like we have a lot of Michigan cases. Whelan.